China's Yun-20 has always been of great concern in the international arena because China's 20 series are all new generation technologies with very good performance and comprehensive strength. At present, Yun-20 has begun to replace China's domestically produced WS-20 engine, thus getting rid of the dependence on Russian-produced engines and completely stepping out of an independent domestic and upgraded straight path. So will the H-6K bomber be replaced by a domestically produced engine? First of all, let's talk about Yun-20. Yun-20 is a new generation of large-scale military transport aircraft in China. After the successful development of the first flight test success in 2013, China has a period of time in the transport aircraft in the blank and shortboard period, no choice but to rely on foreign imports of aircraft for transport and rescue and so on. Now China finally has its own research and development and construction of large transport aircraft, no longer need to worry about transporting weapons and materials. And this transport aircraft, if compared to the current service, in the IL-76 model, there are many improvements and enhancement of the place. The load side also has a significant increase in the short runway takeoff, and landing capacity has also been very good. The Y-20 is able to overcome the obstacles of bad weather and fly stably, and has played an important role in China's major disaster relief and delivery of supplies and personnel transfer. In the fight against the new crown epidemic, the Y-20 undertook the task of quickly transporting medical personnel to the rescue and was also able to quickly carry anti-epidemic supplies to the required areas, making an outstanding contribution to China's victory against the epidemic. These non-war military operations also require large-scale airlift and urgent completion of the mission, reflecting the Chinese Air Force's well-trained and the excellent comprehensive transport capacity of the Yun-20, which is another powerful weapon for the Chinese Air Force. The transport aircraft is 47 meters long and 15 meters high, which is equivalent to the height of an ordinary five-story building, with a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons and a maximum payload of 66 tons, giving it an excellent carrying capacity. The first version of this transport aircraft is the Russian-made D-30KP-2 turbofan engine, the maximum thrust of 12.5 tons, very powerful, culvert ratio performance is also very good, the reason why the choice of the Russian O engine, because at that time China's independent research and development of domestic aircraft here is not mature, but rely on foreign engines or have uncertain factors, such as Russia now because of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, led to a lot of domestic factories, cannot be in accordance with the normal period of production, once encountered this special situation, if you rely on imported equipment from abroad, will be affected. Good in China on the one hand imported Russian engine use, but also did not relax their own domestic engine research and development project, and ultimately developed a successful turbofan 20 aircraft engine model. This turbofan 20 engine thrust reached 13 tons maximum for the 16-ton class, compared to the Russian engine is more powerful, and is a large connotation ratio engine. The success of this aircraft engine is also very significant, the opening of China's own research and development of aircraft engine successful application of a new chapter has been assembled to the Transport 20 Transport Aircraft Flight Test situation is good, proving that China's engine has been a success and can replace the Russian engine, can achieve stable mass production and completely get rid of the dependence on the Russian engine. Now the Chinese Air Force's important aircraft H-6K can also change the national hair as one of China's strategic core strike weapons. The H-6 series of fighters also attracted much attention Many military fans believe that this bomber can still be in service for decades. If the future will be used for so many years, China's H-6 series of fighters will also be replaced with domestic engines. The bomber is a Chinese medium-range bomber that can accommodate a crew of seven, is 34 meters long, and has a cruising speed of nearly 1,000 kilometers per hour. The engine assembly currently in use is two Chinese-made WP-8 turbojet engines with a single thrust of 75 kN. This engine is China's first indigenously developed airframe turbofan engine, with a thrust of 8,165 kg, leaving a lot of room for power upgrades. But it would be impractical to replace it with the turbofan 20, as the latter is too large for the H-6 fighter and doesn't have enough room to accommodate it. The H-6K is powered by the Russian D-30KP turbofan engine, which can also be powered by the localized WS-18 engine. However, the H-6K cannot be retrofitted with the WS-20 engine. If China's H-6 series fighters are to be mass-produced and incrementally inducted in the future, 
it is still necessary to consider increasing the kinetic energy of the engine, then the domestic engine can also be found to match the model and specifically upgrade a suitable model. At present, China's H6 series fighter will not change the engine in a short period of time, but with the J20 and Transport 20 and other models are replaced after the completion of the H6 series of engines, will continue to be upgraded domestically. After all, as one of the main bomber, H-6 is also very important to the Chinese Air Force, formation combat and tactical deployment, etc. All need H-6 play an important role. The kinetic energy of the engine also determines the response and performance of the combat, but also relates to the strength of the strike and rapid raids and reinforcements, etc. So it can be speculated that the H-6 for the upgraded domestic engine is a certainty, but only the time and type of the problem only.